Culture. 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 Welcome to Art Souterrain 2019 in Montreal. This is one of the largest uh, public art exhibitions in Canada, and actually the only one of its kind in the world. Over five kilometers of underground tunnels in uh, downtown Montreal were showing 64 artists, whether it's uh, performance, installation, video work, print, uh, photography. So it's basically everything you can find in contemporary art, you can find it here. The theme of the, this year is true or false. So it's really about how we don't know anymore, whether it's the news or in our life, on our relationship, on social media, what's true, what's, what's not true. And I'm uh, very excited to show you Eric Pickersgill, which is an American artist. His, his series is called Removed. It's showing people in their real life and he's removed the cell phone or the, or the actual technology that people are really involved with which is impacting their relationship with people. He actually asks people if they can remove the device from their hands, keep the position, and he photographs them. This is at La Sorbonne in Paris. Eric became quite uh, well known and he started doing a lot of TED Talks on how the devices is, you know, having an effect in our lives and he actually asked everybody to look at their phone and then remove the phone and then he took the photograph. It's actually him, uh, the artist, Eric, and his wife. That's the first photo he made. The next series I want to show you is downstairs. He's a Canadian artist. His name is Brandon George Coe. This is a very uh, interesting and fun series to look at. Really interested in the absurd and strange situation where you just can't believe it's true. So that's kind of a series about being true but looking false. The interesting thing about his work is that you have to try to figure it out but you're never really sure about anything. This particular corridor is very intimate, you know, so you kind of have to really be into something else to not look around and, and notice it. A lot of people that are walking by are not familiar with contemporary art. Contemporary art sometimes needs a lot of context to understand, and this is pretty, you know, pretty simple. You just look at the shots are talking by themselves, you know, so I think this is a very popular series. Oh, yeah. Most of the people never seen contemporary art, so the creation of Art Souterrain Festival is to be on the people passageways to bring them uh, to the art world and to create an interest of the contemporary art in the underground city. Montreal is about uh, 32 kilometers of passageways, so we're using this uh, architecture to bring uh, this event uh, to the people. It could be about uh, fake news, but also propaganda. So you can see this with uh, Emmanuel Laflamme, the Quebecer artist, showing the first man on the moon. I've had people who had strong opinions that the moon landing footage was faked. Some people that had very strong opinion that this was the actual footage. And I'm glad to exchange with people, because I want to know and understand why they think this way. It's just... It's just amazing how the same picture can trigger so many different emotions within people. Where did you find the photo? Online. Back in the day, painters would go in the forest, find some dirt or flowers, and they would use that as the basis for their pigments. I go on Google Images. I would describe myself as a curious skeptic. I'm just fascinated by all these alternate narratives and I find quite a lot of inspiration in those. It's a great way to explore different conceptions of reality through my artworks. Ever since I started making art, one of my, my, my main motivations was to create artworks that would reach out to most people. 
people wouldn't normally go to an art gallery or to the museum. So this is why Art Souterrain is such a great opportunity for artists. This is the perfect platform to reach out to as many people as possible. The first night when we opened the festival, we had 30,000 people just for one night. So imagine how many people are seeing this every day, the people that are just walking by, going to work. So this is a really, really large uh, public that we're getting and people that are able to see all these works. It's great. Ooh!